What's going on everybody? Teddy Baldassar here from teddybaldassar.com. In this video, we're gonna be looking at some new releases from Jung Hans, both the Maxbill Automatic 2020, as well as the Maxbill Chronoscope 2020. At any point throughout this video, wanna learn some more information, I'll have links in the description, as well as promo code to get a free strap with your purchase. But guys, let's take a closer look at these watches. So first looking at a rundown of these watches, we'll start with the Maxbill Automatic 3-hander. We have a case size of 38 millimeters, thickness of 10.4 millimeters, lug width of 20 millimeters, lug to lug of 39.5 millimeters, water resistance of 30 meters, movement is an automatic at a 28242, crystal is plexiglass, price we're looking at $1,195. We do have a promo code of MB2020 and this applies for both watches, getting a free strap with your purchase up to $100. Now transitioning to the chronoscope, we have a case size of 40 millimeters, thickness of 13.9 millimeters, lug width of 20 millimeters, lug to lug of 42 millimeters, water resistance of 30 meters, movement is an automatic value 7750, price $2,095, and again, MB2020 at checkout. Now when first getting into watches and comparing that to the watches that are on the market today, it is interesting to see the brands and their response to what appears to be increased popularity of certain models. When I first purchased my Maxbook Chronoscope from Jung Hans four years ago, the Maxbook collection had only a fraction of what is being offered today. These models have always, I think, had a level of appreciation throughout certain collector circles or even with designers. However, I believe in the last five years, there's been a little bit more of a furthered renaissance of appreciation of these watches and its styling. To match that, Jung Hans has unveiled a series of new models from the Maxwell family, with these two models offering something that I feel is a bit more of a modern interpretation of the Maxbill design. Now both this Maxbill automatic and the chronoscope wear typically if you're familiar with Maxbill designs overall. First with the three hand automatic, we have a classic Maxbill case size of 38 millimeters and a compact lug to lug just under 40 millimeters. With the help of those lugs that tuck really closely to the case, making it a great wear for a smaller to medium sized wrist out there or for those who just like smaller wearing pieces. That said, it is a little bit more unique, so I can't simplify it so much to those terms because compared to other watches with these dimensions, this is going to wear a little bit differently as it appears like it's only dial on the wrist, making it appear quite larger. This effect is also mirrored with the Maxbook Chronoscope here, except we have a bit of a larger case format. The actual real estate of the case doesn't take up that much more. We're looking at 40 millimeters and a pretty small lug to lug again of 42 millimeters. So the cases are gonna wear a little bit thinner on the wrist. A lot of this is just kind of coming down to this more bulbous case style that it leads to the case back pressing into the wrist a bit, and I think that really helps with making the thickness appear a little bit less here. But on top, a lot of that thickness as well is being assisted with that plexiglass crystal on this. So it looks like the actual solid middle of the case is not actually adding a lot of thickness here, and really kind of looks like it's floating on your wrist in both areas. I think this plexiglass crystal also really assists the black and gray type of components on the dial within. Both of these cases come in an anthracite PVD that absorbs the light and lends to the dial being much more prominent compared to the typical high polish that I think can pull away from the max bills now that I'm looking at these a little bit more closely. Along the right side of the case of the automatic, we do have a simple inclusion of a crown. And on the chronoscope, we have the addition of two additional chronograph pushers, the two o'clock being the used to stop and start the chronograph, and the four o'clock being the pusher used to reset the chronograph once at the stop position. Transitioning to the dials here, we have the typical minimalist style layout of the dial that we really come to expect with these type of pieces. The hands on the watches come in a matte black finish with the central hour and minute hands containing Superluminova. Matching the black and hands, we also have traditional rounded typeface of the numerals marking the hours that are nestled slightly inward from the stick markers along the outside of the dial with these coming in more of a gray matte color. With the chronoscope, given it being a chronograph, we do have a two register display with a 30 minute subdial at the 12 and a 12 hour subdial at the six. Flipping over these watches, we do have the use of a simple closed case back featuring the signature of the legendary designer himself, Max Bill at the center. Underneath the case back, we do have two of the most popular automatic Swiss calibers out there with the ETA 28242 within the Max Bill automatic and the Valju ETA 7750 being within the chronoscope. So the ETA 28242 operates at four hertz, 28,800 vibrations per hour, is hacking and hand winding, so you can stop the seconds hand when pulling out the crown to the farthest position, 38 hour power reserve, and for the Value 7750, we have a movement that operates at four hertz, 28,800 vibrations per hour, is hacking as well, and features hand winding, 
and has approximately a 44 hour power reserve. Now when it comes to these two overall, we have two pieces that amongst the Maxima collection I think offer something that we have yet to see. They're watches that are certainly a little bit more modern in their looks, but I think follow the same essential guide that the great design formula of the Max Boat provides. And I think these are pretty interesting looking watches, and that's really cool to see that Jung Han seems to be responding to the consistent demand I would imagine these watches are starting to get. And honestly, if these watches were available back when I was in the market for one of their watches, I'd definitely be giving them a hard look. So guys, if you do have any questions, feel free to email me directly, teddy at teddybaldasar.com. I'd love to be able to have your business. All purchases from my store go directly to support the free content I post on my main channel. In addition to that, you're also getting a full factory warranty as well with any one of your purchases. And definitely use the promo code in the description. But guys, thank you again so much for watching. Be well, and I will see you all very soon.